Good afternoon. We're in Duncarnaby Brock, which was a building erected about or built about two thousand years ago. I reckon this one was built in one a one hundred AD, and it was actually built for the prominent family in the region. Although it has been used for various other things throughout the ages, fortification being one of them. And what an effect it is! It's what they call in Scotland a dry stone dike, which is a building or a structure that there's no cement. It's just a case of putting all the bricks in and packing in the gaps. And this has actually got two layers, which strengthens it. Now, if you look above my head, this particular one is actually nine meters high, but that wasn't how high it was. Apparently they were about 13 meters high. And there was various levels in here. There was, they used to keep cattle on the bottom and uh, people stay in the next there. There was guard cells. It was almost like a little fort. And there's a set of stairs through here. I'll let you see them. I have a story to tell you about the, the fort. So we'll just come through here. <laughs> so there's stone steps going up the brock. Very worn, very rough angles, you know, if these walls could talk 2,000 tales from 2,000 years ago, there you go. Anyway, there's a really cool story, I'll just try and sneak my way back out. <laughs> Hit my head on the top. Anyway, there's a really cool story attached to this, this particular brock. In 1601, the Morrisons of Ness went on a cattle raiding expedition from the Macaulays at Uig, and they got caught. And the Morrisons came and, and hid in here. And the Macaulays came and, and found that they were in here, and there was a certain Donald Cam Macaulay who climbed the outside of the brock using two daggers. And he climbed his way up the wall and threw in some heather and set it on fire and they smoked the, the Morrisons out. And I don't know what happened, and probably killed them. But I'm kind of wondering how he actually managed to get up there with, I mean, he climbed with the daggers, I can kind of get that using the, the, the holes and the gaps. So I'm guessing he had the heather on his back, but what did he use to light it with? I mean, I don't think they had Scottish bluebell matches back in those days, but how can he, maybe he held the, a burning torch in his teeth or something, but. That was in 1601, and eventually it kind of, they, they then destroyed it after the raid, or after they got rid of the Morrisons, and it was about 1885, they started taking stones and using them for other things, and in 1885 it was actually designated a place of interest, and it became protected, and it's pretty much the best example in Scotland, there's, there's two, between two and five hundred other ones, most are in real disarray, but this is the best known example, and it's, it's nine metres high at the, the peak, but it, again, it's a really cool place, like all the little places we're coming to. Duncarlaby Brock, up in Lewis. Uh, that's all for now. We're going to go to the Hebkelt Festival. That's why we're all dressed up to, to kill. And we head off to Glen Shield tomorrow. The internet's pretty poor. We will be doing videos. I'm just not sure when we can post them, but we'll be in touch at some point. Thanks again for watching.